There's rain in the forecast, so it's time to harvest some elderflower. This is an American elderflower. It's been growing here for about four to five years now. I didn't exactly know what I was doing when I first started caring for it, so it is a bit taller than I would like, and sometimes I struggle to reach those upper umbrals, but I make it work. Here I'm checking to see that the flower heads are perfumed and mostly open. I don't want to harvest closed buds as those will not provide as much of the elderflower flavor. Elderflower is very much loved by pollinators. I feel like I have to wrestle with them in order to get my flowers. <laughs> At the same time, I'm very happy that they're enjoying it and that pollination is what's going to turn these flowers into berries. Here we go, first elderflower harvest. This is a recipe for elderflower cordial. To mix water and sugar into a syrup. Then add the zest of a lemon. Then slice it up and add all of the lemon slices. Plus a really large amount of citric acid. It seems like a lot, but it is part of the flavor of the elderflower cordial and helps with its longevity in storage. While the syrup boils, I'm going to cut off the flower heads. American elderflower, or canadensis, does not contain cyanide, so you don't have to be quite so concerned about getting off all of the green bits. Nor do you need to heat the flowers. So I like to add them in after the syrup has already boiled and then cooled to warm temperature, like you would for an herbal tea. Then I'll cover the mixture, allow it to come to room temperature, and then place it in the fridge overnight. The next day, I will strain this syrup through cheesecloth. making sure to squeeze out all the good bits. I hope you enjoyed this elderflower cordial recipe.